since the start of the project, there were three components we all agreed upon. The first one being creating an experience around the Amsterdam ferry. The second one was to create a story that will blow the user away. It has to be captivating, strong, and without plot holes. And for the last one, we all got extremely excited about going into, or going back into time, to the golden ages with the big VOC ships, where the, where the oceans were wild and the destinies were still unknown. Our story had to include badass sailors and mighty, mighty pirates. So here we are, presenting to you the Transmedia Game Experience. Hello and welcome. Come aboard, we will leave any minute. We are very free to do whatever we want. Uh, that was the first point I liked about this project. Besides this, the project included different aspects we had to use. Uh, it was literally from design to the techniques. Uh, I liked the most that we could make this in only three weeks. We didn't know much about game making, so I'm very happy that we have come so far. The mystery is about a lost captain who disappeared one misty Wednesday night while traveling his ship Driftwood to the canals of Amsterdam. Back in the days, there were four suspects for this probably crime. A soldier, a merchant, a cook, and the captain's wife. Now each of your fellow passengers knows one of those four suspects very well. You realize that you're in a unique situation here. With all these stories and trustworthy sources, sources surrounding you and your detective senses start tingling. Are you able to figure out who was responsible for the captain's disappearance and what led to the culprit to its crime back in the days? It's now or never. And I'm a big history enthusiast, so as soon as I realized our story was heading to the Victorian ages, I couldn't get more excited. I just started thinking about how I could make those graphics and moody atmospheres in drawings and that was a very thrilling process. What I like most about our game is that at some point we completely shifted your role as a player by introducing transmedia aspects. There's something super exciting about stretching those in-game borders and putting them out there and seeing just how far we can get the player to go out of our game while still working on the same story. Um, I've been doing work like programming the animations, the game mechanics, uh, rigging the lighting and putting in the audio. Um, I've worked with Unity to put all the parts of content together and create uh, one whole gaming experience. Uh, each day there were new problems and obstacles, but uh, to keep working on them and fixing them uh, bit by bit has been uh, very rewarding. So I like the project because we don't have too much to finish it. Uh, within three weeks and uh, honestly I don't have too much experience before to draw the pictures on the work on drawing pad before and uh, our group members also either uh, we don't do much works in the game design the unity before and uh, we work together to solve problems and finally we almost finish and it. it makes me feel so great. You get to know each character in the VOC story by simply following their social media activities. Follow the cook for his delicious food he makes. And follow the merchant to see what he is up to with the goods on board. Follow the captain's wife by reading every thought that pops up in her mind on Twitter. You get to know the past of the soldier by following him on YouTube. Even you get to know the captain by his online personal log he maintains before his disappearance. But these are not the only reasons to follow the social part of the story. Each post hides a clue, which will lead you to the culprit. Mm -hmm. 